arriving with a miracle on its wings, glittering. Becky Soria, come climb me in your vines. Maria, absolution. This is for her. Sludge sticks to her back as Arboreum Absolution turns to leave. She went to the flood in a little mud boat. She drank the bottom of the deluge and tasted our grief. Polar bears whispered in the rising waters. Blue staircases of ice melts, descends, withers, and wakes whole Arctic kingdoms. As distant from me as a dream I wake up from and will never understand. But the bears nuzzle her hand and ripple their skin with happiness to see her again. Arboretum, absolution, where have you been? I have swallowed the stone of grief, she says. I have broken my neck with tears. It is grief that bears the fullness of love. It is grief that teaches ways to love that are unknowable until you have grieved the abandonment and terror of it. Species die extinct. We document them in research books. We stuff them in museum cabinet drawers. There is no loneliness greater than what we replace them with. Arborea, absolution, spits a sharp hook from her tongue. Unheard, it is a woman word, but nevertheless it punctures deep. How will you come back? How will you come back? How will you come back to me? A memory of fireflies? A memory of what a whooper will said? I call this poem, I do not remember my earth mother. It is as if I buried her long ago. And then I notice a spent hibiscus, hibiscus bloom twisted bright on the sidewalk. And it is as if I've come upon my mother's antique glove, newly discarded, and I burst into tears. I have an outrageous anatomy. I am mother-made, fashioned in the image of flowers. From a time when bees were the only ones who drew maps, I am irrepressibly floral. Calyx and stamen, pollen sheathed, petals and stigma, I open entirely with desire. I have no reason to beg for love. My body carries the sound of water, and I am moving through everything. I am blood kin to the moon, Little sister to the poppy, a perfect bloom, a wild seed is cupped in me. I am a grandmother of seeds. I sharpen my shovel and spoon and hoe. There is nothing to do but live and want the earth to be food. I am not yet used to the consciousness wonder of being alive. Irresistibly, my memories become my soul. My memories are all I know about my soul and forget. My memories weave me awkwardly to break.
brevity. My memories taught, thread tie me to your heartbeat and mine. Day by day, sleep, breath by hand and I, all my life, I felt something new out of love. Though I set the earth down, alone in her senility, though I set the earth down, alone in her senility, she will bury me, receive me again, even if all that can be found of me is my skull, my feet, and the palms of my hands. The earth soul is disembodied. I hear her scream. She wants to live in my body again. My DNA is green. Wherever I go, my feet hear the earth's soul cry. Come up through me. I am dizzy. I wobble. I spin. My intelligence has been separated from her. I cannot grasp her knowledge, though my DNA is made of seeds. My intelligence has been separated from her, but my intuition aches to know why I was born with so little provocation. One of eight billion. There's nothing more commonplace than humanity. But still, we don't know each other. The earth is diminished in the world's cynicism. Whoever loses their mind now has lost it for longer for magic. Whoever believes in the earth mother knows where magic makes, their, makes them murmur at first and then be quiet under the stars. The night measured like music. The world's first vascular bones were once submerged, finds, sway. Dynova soul wants to move through the course of my blood. Womb, bones, birth, breath, mother, 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 earth, begin me again. I pull her soul out of the ground and her long vine enters through my face. Glance at me now, casually. I am a stranger passing by. I am your own reflection in an unlit mirror in your house at 4 a.m. If you are startled by me, then you must see how lost we both are. Call this poem The Orange Tree in Bloom said the orange tree in bloom to the lavender today she will cut us both for her bridal bouquet. The lavender replied Even on our roots a mysterious love is there. Who can deny it and how you taste or the scent of me? Renovatium. I would rather this earth vine came from somewhere outside of me. From mountain birds I never heard sing. From strangers who never fed me at their table. From an alien race more advanced than me those who already know the answers. I would rather this earth vine did not shoot through my heart. I would rather its single reborn bud, bright as it is, was not so tender or so beautifully lit with the joy to live and to be lived through.
the blue earth and sky. I would rather this earth find not be how precariously we hold on to each other. Thank you. Thank you.